Hello everyone. My name is Nikhil Moga. Welcome back to this channel. In this video, we will discuss leverage buyout, its meaning, purpose, source of fund, risk and stages. A leverage buyout is a transaction in which the buyer acquires company from the fund borrowed from the investment banks, entity or person. It enables the business entity to acquire new companies and form new alliances in the market. This mode of acquisition helps the business entity to diversify their business streams, products, brands and technology while using the less of their capital in the acquisition deal. Now we will discuss what is the meaning of leverage buyout. A leverage buyout is a method of using external source of income for purchasing a company. In general terms, a leverage refers to a borrowed capital recovered from a person, entity or investment bank. In a leverage acquisition, the borrowings forms a large part of the buyout price ranging approximately almost 90%. The remaining amount is generally covered by the business entity through its own asset or by putting the acquired assets on collateral. Therefore, it can be typically said that the transaction of leverage buyout is carried on by the private entity firms to purchase an existing business along with all its revenue streams, debts, assets and obligations. The main reason behind financing the major buyout is that it creates leverage for the buyer. It means that the buyer invests almost 10% in the whole transaction and the remaining amount is invested by the investors through loans that will be paid by the company over a time from their cash flow. The repayment acts as a payment of debt in the whole transaction. This whole process of acquisition will benefit both the investor and the buyer wherein the investor will receive regular interest from the profit along with having a controllable interest in the company and buyer does not have to worry about investing large amount of capital to acquire a large stake or ownership in the company. Now we will discuss what is the purpose of leverage buyout. The first purpose is privatizing a public company. The privatization of a public company means consolidating and transferring public shares to private investors. Acquiring public company through private investment makes the controlling interest in the hands of private investors. It means these investors can now either own half or majority of the acquired company by removing the shares from the market. Moreover, the privatization requires less regulatory requirements which helps the buyer to save more and also improve the affairs of the company so that it can be reintroduced in the market as IPO. The second purpose is improving the affairs of the underperformed companies. There are occasions where the company is not able to perform well due to unforeseen reasons. In that case, the buying entity presents an opportunity to the acquired company through leverage buyout to realize its full potential. The buying entity will work with full potential to improve the affairs of the acquired company with the aim of improving their profit margins, which also helps in the repayment of debt. The third purpose is breaking up and selling inefficient part of the company. A leverage buyout will help the company to break up and sell those part of the business which are performing badly and are inefficient. Generally, the buying entity splits the acquired company into smaller parts having less profit generating margins and offer these small parts to sale. The revenue generated from the sale can be used to pay off the debt and the remaining amount can be used as profit. Now we will discuss how leverage buyouts are funded. The leverage buyouts are funded through many means. The first means of funds are private equity firms. A leverage buyout may be funded by the private equity firms. They are the investment company that uses its own capital asset or which they acquire from investors. In these type of financing, the private equity firms generally hold controlling interest in the acquired company. Second means of funds can be subordinated debt. A subordinated debt is the way of financing the buyout through loan without having any collateral. In this type of financing, if the buyer failed to pay the debt, then the lender can acquire ownership of the property proportionally to the balance amount of the loan. Third means can be banks. Banks are the common way of financing the leverage buyout. The buyer and the private equity firm takes loan from the bank and the debt is repaid on regular intervals or at the time specified by the bank. Fourth means can be bonds. The bond is an instrument that provides financial support to the buyer. The buyer receives the bond from an investor for a specific period of time and in exchange, the investor receives interest from the buyer until the bond expires or it reaches its maturity. Now we will discuss what are the risks associated with leverage buyout. There are generally two types of risk that are generated on the leverage buyout. The first one is interest risk. The interest rate on such financing activities are usually high. 
and in case if the buyer is unable to make payment of interest and principal amount then there are chances that company may go bankrupt also the rising interest rate with variable rent may also increase the overall payment of the company henceforth the buyer shall find a fair credit and interest rate for a successful leverage buyout that will prevent future unexpected risk second will be business risk the business risk is the unexpected risk that are faced by the company there are occasion where the company may face an unexpected event that would lead them to face losses in that case the company may not be able to pay off the debt and it may go into liquidation and consequently all the assets of the company are then acquired by the creditors now we will discuss what are the stages in leverage buyout the first stage is searching the business to be acquired acquiring a business is not a simple task and and requires due diligence or pre preparation so the company shall beforehand makes its financial analysis and analyze the potential risk that it can withstand because if a company takes huge risks there are chances that it can fail in the wrong run henceforth a balanced acquisition is the one wherein the capital and the equity are ample to grow from the assets that are bought the second stage is finding capital provider the capital requirement for a leverage buyout can be financed in number of ways such as asset based financing integrated debt senior cash flow debt seller financing etc the external capital requirement is a prerequisite in a leverage buyout acquisition hence the buyer shall find a financing model that is more suitable to the business service line and at the same time look what is best suited to meet the potential risk therefore the capital requirement in the leverage buyout while acquiring a company shall be met by the buyer that is easier to pay off the third stage is due diligence by the lender after finding the capital provider the lender will conduct due diligence of the business entity the lender will provide capital in the leverage buyout only if the company provides sufficient financial information including balance sheet cash flow statements and profit and loss statements the lender analyze the finances of the company and determine if the projections assumptions of the company are possible or not moreover the lender shall also determine the accounting principles used to make financial report the last stage of the leverage buyout transaction is acquisition of a company and the last stage the buyer sign a purchase agreement with the seller and loan agreement with the lender the purchase and loan agreements are the important document as it will determine all the terms and conditions agreed between the seller and the lender therefore the agreement shall contains all the business points representations warranties and other important points for more such update please subscribe to the channel